This is the Mauna Loa eruption update for the 30th of November, 2022. Mauna Loa is currently erupting through fissures 3 and 4 on the upper northeast rift zone. There is no eruptive activity taking place at the summit nor on the southwest rift zone. All eruptive activity remains confined to the upper northeast rift zone around the 11,000 foot level or 3,300 meter level. Activity can change at any time especially if new fissures form downrift from the current fissures. Mauna Loa remains in Volcano Alert Level Warning and Current Aviation Color Code Red. This is the U.S. Geological Survey's most recent lava mat dated the 29th of November 2022 at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. The lava has advanced farther than what you see here by the morning of the 30th of November 2022. The elevation terrain and where the lava flows in this area decreases by a thousand feet or around 300 meters every two miles or three kilometers. This is steep enough for Pahoehoe lava to flow fast. However, when it changed to an ah uh flow, which is what it is right now, it would flow at a rate of one to three feet per minute or about a third of a meter, one meter per minute, depending on the terrain. Here, the terrain starts to level out at the 6,500 foot or 2,000 meter mark. Now, if fissure three remains active, which is the most active fissure, the lava flow may reach this area here by Saddle Road and slow down, and may eventually cover Saddle Road, possibly by the 3rd or 4th of December if the lava flow does not stop. The terrain of the previous lava flows just to the west of the fissure three lava flow is slightly higher in elevation. Thus, the lava will be diverted by the topography and will make its way towards Hilo as long as the eruption continues. If lava flows on the other side of this small ridge, it would threaten the Kona side of Hawaii. I took this footage last year. This is the observatory road just off of Saddle Road. Lava will eventually cover just west of here, possibly in this area as well. The current lava flow that is near Saddle Road is an a'a -a flow. A'a -a means rough in Hawaiian. These lava flows tend to be far from the vent and have cooled down a bit. Ah uh -uh is jagged, clinkery, and very slow moving. It moves anywhere from a half a meter to about two to three meters a minute, depending on the slope of the volcano, as well as its terrain. Pahoehoe lava tends to be closer to the vent and is also still liquid and has a ropey appearance as it flows. This is the webcam from Mauna Kea facing southwest towards the Mauna Loa lava flows. You can see where it starts out as pohoihoi, fast moving pohoihoi, and then it changes into clinkery ah -ah lava flows at the very bottom. Fissure 4 is the most recent fissure that formed on the evening of the 28th of November 2022, but it's not as active as Fissure 3 so far. As of the morning of the 30th of November 2022, lava flows have advanced to around the 9,000 foot or 2,740 meter level. Lava flows from Fissure 4 may move in the same general direction as Fissure 3. The Fissure 4 lava flows move parallel to the northeast rift zone for a bit and then north towards Saddle Road. This lava flow, if it remains active, may cover large portions of the observatory road along the way. If the lava flows reach the Saddle Road, they may eventually turn towards the east and eventually try to make its way towards Hilo. The following three clips were taken by the U.S. Geological Survey. Here's a U.S. Geological Survey overflight on the 29th of November 2022 of the Fisher 3 vent. This is the most active vent. This is a close-up of the Fisher 3 event taken on the 29th of November 2022. The fountains are about 20 to 25 meters tall or about 65 to 84 feet tall. Here's another view of the Fisher 3 event.